back to just plain living, <laughs> or or do we decide it's plain old living? <laughs> Either way, I'm Lauren Foster, <laughs> and Joy's rolling her eyes in disgust. And as usual, I get the gorgeous guys to interview on the show. I'm so lucky they love me a lot. Stephen Gallagher, welcome. Thank you. Steve's been Thanks here with us before, you'll all remember, on behalf of Gallagher Guitars. That's right. Um, but today you've brought another friend, Andrew. Yes. What's your last name? Andrew Davis. Andrew Davis, and you formed a new band. Yes, uh, we've been working really hard the past month with uh, another player, ban uh, Joy Gibson, who Joy plays Gibson. banjo. And we're actually looking for a bass player, maybe a mandolin player, but right now we're just doing it as a trio. Right. And it's a lot, been a lot of fun working with these guys. Have a name? New band? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're open to suggestions. We're open to suggestions, <laughs> yeah. but we're, 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 we've been leaning towards War Trace Ramblers. Of course, we had a, a one idea. Uh, the O line, because we're all 250 pounds and we look like an offensive line. <laughs> but who knows? Nice. Okay. Well, because I was going to mention you during the opening, and I thought, well, I don't know the name of their band. That's why, because you don't have one. <laughs> we're we're playing this uh, uh, this Saturday, and we're gonna we've booked the gig as the Gallagher Trio right now. The Gallagher Trio. Representing the Gallagher guitars, of course. Excellent. Make Pops happy. Are you both playing Gallagher guitars? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Boy, you know, we were talking about don't ask questions that you don't know the answer to. That could have been really bad. What, what if you weren't? <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. That would have been embarrassing for I probably would be fired when I go back to work yeah, this morning. And me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the 10th. What time does that start? We're going to start playing at 7 o'clock. Um, and this I is at the, at the Bing Creek Winery. This is at Beans Creek Winery in Manchester. It's right off of exit 111. Mm -hmm. It's a cool place, and you'll play outside, right? We, we will be playing outside, weather permitting. Okay. And uh, the, weather the good thing is, is, it's cooled off. Hopefully, it's going to be extremely nice, more like a fall night instead of a summer night. Summer night, right. So you can go out to Bing Creek Winery and taste some wine and look around the facilities and hear some great music. It's a, I've been out there before. I'm not sure if you were playing, but it was, it's a good time. So that's this Saturday the 10th at 7. Yes. And give us a sample of what we're going to hear. All righty then. Well, we're just going to do a, uh, a little flat picking number, then we'll sing you one. All right. Yay. Uh, we're going to start off with a song, uh, Cherokee Shuffle. Cherokee Shuffle. The Gallagher Trio. Mm -hmm.
another one. Let's do that weary blues, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll just play it in. Uh, no, we're going to do it in E because uh, somewhere I've left my capo. That's all right. Oh, no, I got it. All right. I know you have it because you said when you came out of the green one that you had it. Yeah, well. <laughs> mm. Got to change it. Uh, White horse filling a mud puddle. <laughs> That's only dirty joke. Only dirty joke. this early in the morning these guys haven't had all day to warm up so and we are musicians so we usually stay up late right. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe special that they could sing so well at nine o'clock in the morning all right cool so we were i was kind of wondering while you were playing i always wanted to be in a band and it just mm -hmm. seems like ever it's like oh let's form a band okay it's really not that easy, is it? <laughs> no, uh, uh, it's actually quite difficult when you work with different personalities, different mm -hmm. types of people. Um, of course, you know, I, I play with a lot of different guys. Right. And uh, I like to play whatever kind of music I can get my hands on. Mm -hmm. But it's still hard. People have work schedules. Uh, we're not full-time musicians. Right. We're part-time musicians. So we, trying to organize a practice, organize time to get together, find the right pieces and the elements and find people comparable to what you want to do or the direction you want to go it can be difficult. And so you, you said you were looking for a bass player. How will you choose one? Will you audition them or just... Well, uh, I don't know if you quite call it an audition at this point in our careers, but <laughs> <All> <laughs> right, more like hang play. out with us for a while. And if right. you like us enough, you can stick around. So, <laughs> it's, it's, so the personality is more important than the actual skill? I think so. Do yeah, you? it has a lot to do with it because the skill will, will come together because if you have a person personality you can work with mm -hmm. and everybody gets along well there's more and more you can do and the more and more you'll be able to practice and, everybody it, and gets the better. practice is it, it doesn't matter if case in point you two the band you two uh-huh they didn't know how to play anything didn't know how to play any of the instruments and so they really did say hey y'all let's form a band absolutely. <laughs> you learn this you learn this i'll learn this and absolutely really <laughs> it's that's a, a great story because in a band it's not about one person it's it's about the group and that's one thing this group is really 
we try to everybody gets out front and everybody does their part. Everybody sings a little bit. Joy tears up the banjo. Yeah, man. He, he rips that banjo. I, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Now he, he's a like champion. Yeah, let me tell player. you about Joy a little bit. He uh, he played. He started his professional career at about 15. <laughs> he wow. played with uh, the Young Acoustic All Stars, which uh, those of us in bluegrass world know a lot of the players that he played with, like Cody Kilby and uh, uh, Josh Williams. Chris Thiele was Chris Thiele was in that band. I mean, these uh, who's who of bluegrass musicians at this point now and even today and uh, I think he told me since he was 16 he hasn't lost a banjo competition awesome. <laughs> he's he's a, a pretty hot player play, also plays bass dobro and guitar as well oh but he can't play all three at the same time well we're working on that act but it hadn't happened yet <laughs> so in the meantime you still need a bass player <laughs> yeah exactly all right cool do you, do you have any more songs prepared sure for us uh, that we can play today we're going to let Andy rip few on a couple of songs. Let's um, do that Mr. Engineer and little Sadie. All right, let's do those. Let's do them in that order. All right, sounds great. <laughs> uh. Young man, ain't your name Brown? Remember the night you tried to lay it down? Well, I said, 
me on the train starting back. Had no mom to go to Vermont Bay, and they put me back in that time to the Judge and the jury took their stand. The judge and the papers and kids right there. 41 days, 41 nights, 41 years with the ball and strike. <laughs> you know, I've known Stephen a really long time. Watching your career advance and your skills get better and better is really, really interesting. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, yeah. So Thank on you. Saturday, you are also maybe having some special guests. Did you find out about that? Well, yeah, I did, and it's sad news. They're not coming through Tennessee. Oh, okay. Uh, just so I'll let everybody know what she's talking about. We were hoping Miss Kim Dorfel, a good friend of mine that... Uh, plays with the Dorfel family was going to be coming from Missouri to Florida and I was hoping they were coming through Tennessee but it didn't work out. Oh, well maybe So we might have some other people show up. Though. Okay, but still be sure to come out to Bean Creek Winery on Saturday. That's the 10th. So if you're watching this on Saturday, you better head out there right now. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, the music will start at about 7 o'clock on Saturday night and that's right. you'll play until until everybody gets tired of until, us. <laughs> until you sit at home, the evolving Gallagher trio. It would be great to, great to hear them. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing this young banjo player. All right. All right. Now, um, wait, we need a bass player. This need is, a what, bass we player. We have one more minute. So if you've got information you want to impart or things you want to get back from our audience, this is the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just encourage everybody to come out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of different things. We're not just going to play straight bluegrass, but we are going to play a lot of straight hard bluegrass God, just for you. Because that's you know, your people favorite. People like it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like it. Andy likes I like it. it. So um, hopefully we can, uh, if a bass player wants to show up and play a few songs with us, come on out. So what can yeah. it hurt? Right? Yeah, Absolutely. what can it hurt? Okay. All right, excellent. The Gallagher Trio, Saturday the 10th at Bean Creek Winery. And do you have a website? Well, uh, right now you can just get a hold of me through GallagherGuitar.com. GallagherGuitar.com. And uh, the we'll website will be coming soon for our band. And that always does have really cool things on it. So yes. thank you all for being with us and entertaining us. Having... It was a great thank time. You. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> Y'all stay with us. We'll be back with more Living After This. <laughs>